And one of the men charged in that case is 29-year-old Apex Man, and CBS 17's Gilad Malamet is live tonight outside the Justice Center with where things stand in this investigation. Gilad. The sheriff's office arrested 29-year-old Arturo Marin Sotelo. If convicted, he could face life in prison without parole or the death penalty. Arturo Marin Sotelo walks into Wake County Court Thursday after being arrested and charged with felony murder for the death of Wake County Deputy Ned Burr. Sheriff Gerald Baker was in the courtroom. His office says more arrests are expected. We were not going to stop until we brought these individuals into, into justice. And we're there. And there's a little bit more work to do. District Attorney Lauren Freeman says a second man, Alder Alfonso Marin Sotelo, has also been charged with murder, but has not been served because he's in federal custody. There are two individuals that have been charged um, in the homicide of Deputy Bird. We asked Freeman if the individuals that have been charged have any relation to each other, and she says she cannot comment on specific facts of the case. Freeman says she expects that second person to be in court either tomorrow or next week. Those will also be Wake County charges again. This has been um, in you know, a case that has been worked both from an investigative standpoint, but also currently in conjunction with some other partners. And so the logistics of getting that person uh, before a court um, are underway. CBS 17 knocked on the door of a home in this Apex neighborhood where online records show Arturo Marin Sotelo lives. A juvenile answered and said no adults were home at the time. The sheriff's office says this white truck they were looking for in connection to the case was found in Forsyth County. The Wake County Sheriff's Office says this is an ongoing investigation and is asking anyone with information to contact them. So tell us next court appearance is September 8th. Live in Raleigh, Gilad Malamed, CBS 17 News. All right, Gilad, thank you. And digging deeper, we've learned Arturo Marine Sotelo is from Apex. He lives in the Oak Ridge community. He also has a criminal history that dates back to 2013. His most recent charge was filed in 2020, but the online court document did not say what for. In addition to murder, the 29-year-old is also charged with driving with a revoked license. Deputy Bird's funeral takes place tomorrow at 11 o'clock in the morning at Providence Baptist Church. That's on Glenwood Avenue. Visitation was held tonight and colleagues and loved ones came by to visit with the family during this very difficult week. The range of emotions to, to go through uh, between you know, sadness and shock and anger and disbelief. The Raleigh Police Department will shut down Glenwood Avenue starting at 1030 tomorrow morning. That's to allow for the procession from the funeral home to the church. Members of the sheriff's office's K-9 unit will serve as pallbearers. And after the service ends, Deputy Bird's body will be taken to the funeral home. Of course, you can read the very latest on.